Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. So far we have covered different tags like input tags, page tags, output tags, etc. Now in this tutorial I wanted to cover some random tags. These tags are not part of any specific categories. I've just picked these tags randomly from different categories and we're going to study them. The reason we wanted to go through these tags because you might come across these tags in your day-to-day -day activities at work. So I wanted to cover those tags because they are important. So let's go ahead and start with the first tag that we have is the panel bar tag. Now what is the purpose of this panel bar tag? So as you can see here, it creates a panel and you can add the items to this panel bar using this panel bar item tag. It creates a so a page area that includes one or more panel bar item tags can expand when a user clicks the associated header. So let's say it created this item one, item two, and item three inside of this panel bar. So we can think like this whole thing is a panel bar. And inside of this panel bar, you have added multiple items. Okay, so the, this is a panel bar item, this is a panel bar item, and this is a panel bar item. So you've added three different items inside of this panel bar. So what is the property of this panel bar is when you click on the items inside of it, that thing will get expand. So item one, once you click on the item one, it will expand and it will display the content of the item. Now, when you click on the item two, then what will happen, the contents of the item one will be hidden and then the contents of the item two will be displayed. And then once you click on item three, then the contents of the item two will be hidden and then it will show you the contents of the item three. So this is how the panel bar works. So in the panel bar contains another tag called panel bar items, which basically is the thing to add the items to the panel bar. So according to the definition here, you can see that a page area that includes one or more Epix panel bar item tags, which can expand when a user clicks the associated header. So when a panel bar item is expanded, which is this particular one, item one, let's say, is expanded, the header and the content of the item are displayed while the content of the other items are hidden. So only at one particular time, the contents of one of the panel bar item will be displayed. And then when the other panel bar item is expanded, the content of the old one or the original one is hidden. Now a particular panel bar can include up to thousand of these panel bar item tags. So how do you create it? So you can say a first thing would be you will use this Apex panel bar and inside of this panel bar, you're going to have the Apex panel bar item. So inside of this, you're going to have a panel bar item and then you are going to specify the label attributes value and then you can specify the content inside of this panel bar item. Similarly, you can add another panel bar item and then you can specify the content here. So this is what the panel bar and the panel bar item does. So it creates a bar that just like this and it, you can add multiple elements inside of the panel bar using this tag. And when you click on one of the panel bar item, it will expand the header and the contents related to that item. And then when you click the other panel bar item, the original item is hidden. And then the one you clicked will be expanded. So this is how the panel bar and the panel bar item tags work. In the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and cover some example related to these two tags. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.